Yeah, <clears throat> we're already out here doing this this morning. So good morning everybody and welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel around here, I'm Mike and uh, I'll be your host for this video. It's like seven o'clock in the morning. Couldn't sleep anymore. Thought about getting out here making me some breakfast. But it's still pretty dang I'm cold out here. We're just right now waiting on our time to come good. So we can get on down the highway and get to rolling. You honestly really know that you're getting more and more further and further up north when you start seeing geese crap everywhere. <laughs> you gotta really watch where you're walking around this place. There's, there's just mounds everywhere. Last night it was kind of peaceful and quiet. We slept pretty good. Uh, it's a little chilly. But it's always nice to have Bella all cuddled up to you to kind of keep you warm a little bit. And I know she was, uh, she was a little cold too because she got up underneath the cover with me and uh, got right up against my chest and she slept like a baby too. We're going to get in the truck now. I'm going to uh, finish getting my coffee made, put my cup, and I'm gonna get ready to get on the road. All right, y'all. Let's go ahead and get on up out of here. Get on the ride, get up here, get unloaded. Hopefully it don't take too long to get unloaded. And uh, start making our way back.
All right, y'all, we made it over here to where we're unloading at. Had to call a guy because I couldn't figure out where the heck to go to. But uh, he got me lined out right spot where I need to be at. He said I got to come by these two black sand tower deals, what he called them. So he said just park over here and he'll have somebody come out here and get with me. So we'll wait for that person to get out of here and we'll figure it out. All right, so basically I got to go around this way and then go up in the middle there where that little pink building is, pull down there, and then they got a nose me in a building or something like that. I don't really know what he was saying. We're gonna figure it out though. But we got some train cars over here, that's pretty cool. As y'all can see, we're, we're rolling on here. When we come in, we come in right behind me right here. We passed on the other side of the tracks. And uh, we pulled up over there on the other side of this tank over there. The guys came and got me and told me, hey, the tank's on this side of the, uh, the, the warehouse. And uh, I had to go pull back down this little road right here and go turn around and come back in and nose in here. And y'all see how tight it is up in here. It's pretty tight in this little area where I'm at. But this tank right here is a 6,000 gallon tank. I didn't bring them but 5,000 gallons of oil. And they didn't have but eight, uh, about eight and a half inches in it when I started. So it should all fit, should all fit, no problem. But this is gonna take a minute because it's super cold out here and this oil is very, very thick. So uh, we may be here for well over an hour trying to pump this stuff off. But who knows? Who knows? It might go a little faster, I think, but that oil is like syrup coming out of the trailer because it's so cold right now. This shop right here behind me right here, that's actually their, their shop where they do their servicing on their trains and stuff like that at. I've done walked in there once already to get with the guys. They come out here when I got here and showed me where the tank was. I went ahead and got them to sign the pre-unloading stuff. And uh, they went back inside. They said, we're going to lunch. I said, all right, see you later. And uh, they left me out here by myself, which is fine. Um, I got this all under control. But uh, they do got a beautiful, nice train sitting in there. And uh, I'm gonna ask them when we get done unloading if I can walk in there and video that train and show y'all that train. It's very nice in that shop right there. I was like, man, that's a good-looking train. Yeah, all ours are orange. They're all over the place. It's right down there with you, too. I don't know. I ain't never seen these kind right here down there. We got a lot of southeastern. We got any in Louisiana. We got any G&W in Louisiana? I don't know if we are. We got Kansas City Southern and... and uh, Kansas City we got. Yeah. We got, got them there. Some big old engines right there. A big old thing, that's the generator, that's the motor. That's the motor, yeah. Goodness yeah. gracious. This room here, see that little door? Uh huh. The gen starts here, goes all the way in there. Oh, wow. Yeah, we can power a small city with it. Now, we used to, uh, we used to go to the railroad and actually put the fuel in the tanks right there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Pump them out of our truck into them tanks like that. Yep, they still yeah, do that every once in a while. LDRR. LDRR? Yeah, Delta Railroad. Yep, we got yeah. them down there. Oh, okay. So there's orange ones down in your neck of the woods just like this. 
Same okay. paint scheme. New, new Lurbia. Like I said, that was that was pretty cool right there. Looking at them trains up close like that. He said them are more of a vintage style train. I don't know much about them. I just like them. I like the way they look. I like the way they run. I like the way they sound. That's about it. But uh, them are some nice looking trains. Orange and yellow like that. We got unloaded. We're going to get on up out of here. Get on back down the highway. Alrighty, y'all. We're getting on up out of there. Yeah, them old trains right there. That's pretty cool. That's pretty nice looking old trains. Uh, we're going to leave out of here. I didn't stop yesterday to get a shower. When I was sitting over there waiting on that shower, I was already there for like 45 minutes and I wasn't wanting to wait no longer. Uh, so we're going to stop about 30 minutes from where I'm at. There's a Love's. We're going to stop down there. We're going to pull off, go jump in the shower, and then uh, then we're going to get back on the road and we're going to pound that ground until we get to uh, somewhere just south of Effingham, Illinois. That's what we'll be able to make it to. So We're going to get on out of town here and we're going to get on the ride now. Before I go get me a shower, I'm going to do me some cooking because I am very hungry. Just eating that little bit of stuff I ate last night, that chicken or whatever. I just, uh, I'm just hungry. So I figured I'd go ahead and eat this, eat this supper and all that stuff. We got us a steak, a ribeye. We're going to do us some jalapeno sausage. And right, then we're going to do us some eggs. Some nice looking sausage going in that real butter. Got them eggs going. Oh, look at that sear on that sausage. Oh boy. That's gonna be some good stuff right there. Yeah, a lot of y'all been asking how in the world I cook out here. This is how I do it. I got my Coleman stove. I'm usually at a rest area on a bench. But I got my Colvin stove with the bottle and two skillets and, you know, just get after it, you know. Let's see if we can't flip these eggs out messing them up. Yeah! Oh, yeah, look at that. Perfect round. Put back on the fire for a little bit. I need to get me a bag for my trash. I forgot that. Hello? You're looking charring on that sausage out there. Something about cooking with butter, it always seems to make it a little bit better. Alright, got my bag out. My trash. My eggs are done. These sausages right here, they should be done. Oh yeah, they're done. So what I'll do is, give me another plate out. And I'll throw me some sausages on there. I'm gonna be eating like a king, you see, and this is gonna make me tired. <laughs> I'll go ahead and just sit these over here on the trailer, get them out the way. And then I'll throw the rest of them on there. Bella? I have the three more Bella. Hey. Okay. Just slap them on the plate right there. Look at that. Oh, nine stick. That's what I'm talking about. Make sure that's all. Alright, now while, while the tray, <clears throat> while the skillet's still hot, I take one of these red rags right here. This has got a little grit on it. And I'll run that sucker around up in there, get it nice and clean. Yeah, look how clean it is. I ain't got hardly nothing on it. Sit it right there, let it cool. 
too tall on these here, Bella. Look at that tall on them. Heck yeah. Turn that fire down just a little bit. Because when I put that ribeye on there, let's scoop this back. When I put that ribeye on there, I don't want the uh, ribeye. Uh, let's go ahead and clean this spatula off. Clean. Or clean good enough for me. It ain't got to be perfect. Give me a spoon of pork out. Bella? And I got this nice, beautiful ribeye. Beautiful ribeye. Let's get the pack open. Slide the old ribeye out. Throw that trash away. And some salt and pepper. And salt the mess out of it. Don't don't try to kill it. It ain't. I just like a lot of salt. Salt is very uh, very nutritionist for you. Throw a lot of pepper on there. The wind's blowing the pepper around. All right. Let's put a little dash of salt more on there. All right. Three pieces right there are done. Now I still got some butter down there and some juice from that sausage. I'll take that, that ribeye. Oh yeah. Oh, that's looking good. Now my plate here, still got pepper and salt and stuff in the bottom of it. Some of that salt and pepper is going to cook off of that while it's cooking. But I'm going to leave this on this plate right here because when I take that steak off, I want to go right back in that. And just kind of clean it all up real good. Very simple. Bella. This old sausage right here. I want any pieces of that off. Man, that's some good sausage. Perfect. Don't ever, don't ever say you can't get out here on the road and cook yourself a meal and be healthy and stuff like that. Water. Look at that. We had char on that steak. <clears throat> now turn it back down a little bit. Keep watching Bella, she's over there. Nice and good sausage. Very good sausage. Mm. That salt and pepper kind of make a really good crust on these steaks. Look at that crust right there. <clears throat> That's why I like using this salt and pepper a lot because it makes that good crust and makes it have a good shell around it. I like the crunchiness to the outside of it and then the soft inside 
when doing a steak on a skillet like this. Basically, all you're doing is searing the steak. Uh, but I've always known it, you know, being from Louisiana, this is a Cajun way of doing things, of cooking steak. A lot of the Cajuns and stuff like that, they, they cook a the steak on a skillet like this. They don't... Oh, the Cajuns I know. I'm sorry. The Cajuns I know, they usually sear the steak instead of uh, cooking it on a pit. That cheese in the middle of that sausage right there. Man. Slice it open in the middle to see what it looks like. I don't want to cut my pan and get it all scarred up. That's almost done. When it gets a little bit more, less raw than that, which I do like them like that. I do like them when they're raw like that. But yes, y'all, this is so simple to get out here and actually cook for yourself. Why go to these truck stops? Why? Why go inside and get that nasty junk food when you can easily cook for yourself? Don't take me 30 minutes. Cook for myself. Enjoy my meal. Have some time down. You know, time to myself. There's nobody else parked around me here. There's nobody parked over there. It's just me and my dog out right here by ourselves. Usually this is the reason why I like to do it at the, uh, the rest areas. But I wanted to go ahead and stop and get that shower done because if I don't get that shower done while it's early, I won't. I'll be standing in line for two hours waiting for a shower. And like I said earlier, I got to make it as far as I can today, so I'm not even gonna be able to make it to a rest. Uh, 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 loves today. Because now that's the only place I get free showers at because I don't use TA and Petro no more. But why go into these stores and stuff like that and get all that junk food and everything to take into your system and stuff like that, especially truck, truck drivers. They just drive, there's no exercise involved in nothing. So you go get this junk food, and then you sit on your butt in the truck and uh, don't do nothing. Y'all look at that. Look at that right there. That is beautiful. Anyways, you sit on your butt in the driver's seat all day long and don't get out, do no exercising. Same way with that, we just dump all the juices out, but we leave a little bit in there and we'll just scratch the pan. Just clean the pan. Run around, Bella, stay over here. And just clean the pan while it's still hot. And that's pretty much clean. The pan's pretty much clean. Now the outside edges and stuff like that, of course, when I get home, We'll, we'll get inside and we'll actually clean them really good, but just to leave them seasoned, just wipe them all out. I mean, they're, they're, that's good enough. There's nothing in that that's going to cause any damage or anything like that to your next meal or something like that. And just like your Coleman stove here, you know, when you get done cooking on it, of course, you're going to have little grease spots everywhere. Go ahead and wipe that thing down real good. That way you don't have a greasy Coleman stove. Just wipe it down. That's all you got to do. Just wipe it down. 
Oh, it's hot. Don't touch the metal grate though, it's hot. You get done wiping it down, you got your dirty rag, let's throw that away. Make sure these things are, are off. I do not leave my bottles and stuff screwed in because I don't want to lose uh, gas and stuff like that. They just unscrew everything. Boom, done. Ready for another meal. Now, let's cut this steak open. I don't need, uh, well, I guess I could use these. Let's go ahead and cut this steak open. Look how good that cut. Look how easy this is cutting. Wham. Look at that steak right there. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my gosh. I don't want it to be no ASMR on this uh, on this uh, meat cutting and sucking and all that stuff. But my gosh, I wish y'all can taste the flavor that it's in my mouth right now. This is so good. It's a whole lot better than that Hardee's or something like that, whatever's in this truck stop right here. I think it's a Hardee's. It's a whole lot better and more fulfilling than that Hardee's hamburger would be with them with them old French fries, you know what I mean? So much more better for you, more healthier for you. Come on there, fat. And I eat everything of a steak. I eat the fats, I eat everything. A big old chunk of fat. Mmm. Man. <coughs> That's good. <coughs> That's good. Black pepper. I put a little bit too much black pepper on it. I'm not a real big black pepper person. Perfect. Use a knife. Clean it off. Just clean the knife. Whoa, slow down there. You're about to cut your finger off. Okay, that's good enough to go for another day. Put it back in its little sleeve. Bam. This is much more better than than anything you eat out of a truck stop. It don't matter if it's a TA with a iron skillet. That steak don't taste like this one. So this all is going to take me about an hour to, to eat and get a shower and all that stuff. I ain't got no extra time to spare. Anyways, for a second time, I'm gonna finish eating this right here. And uh, this is just how I do it out here on the road. A lot of you new guys are talking about, or new, new subscribers are like, man, how do you how do you cook out there on the road? What do you have? And this and that stuff. I have a Coleman stove. I have two skillets. I have knives and, and spatulas and, and, and I got everything I need. My mama bought me this little case right here. When you open it up, it's got everything I need. It's got a cutting board, knife, scissors, bottle openers. It's got my salt, pepper, skillet, uh, tongs, spatula. This thing's got everything I need to cook my food with and everything. So I don't need nothing else. And that, that's that's just how it's, that's how it is. How you doing? Hey, customer 40. Door shower is ready. This is the reason why I like a Lowe's right here. You get a shower, very nice, very clean, and usually the newer Lowe's and stuff like that, they're bigger showers. And uh, 
I just hate the wait in the evening time. In the evening time, you ain't getting a shower or no. You ain't getting no shower or no quick hurry. You gonna wait for a while. I'm gonna get that shower now. Hey, boy, I feel like a new person now. That shower was probably one of the best showers I've ever had in love. That water was super hot, almost scalding. And that's how I like it. We got to get on the road now. We got to get to putting down some miles. Alrighty y'all, we made it here to Effingham, Illinois. This is where I ran out of time out. Uh, I guess my cooking segment and all that stuff took a little bit longer than I thought. So uh, it kind of shut my time down for today. So oh well, <laughs> we're headed back to Streetport anyways. I'm walking from the Petro back here behind me. I had to come over here and give me a couple of these Dr. Pepper Zeros. I ain't had no Dr. Pepper Zero in a while, and I was kind of itching the itching the flavor of one, so I went and got me some. We're parked over here at the uh, the Effingham Chrome Shop parking lot. It's a whole lot better parking over there than at the big truck stop behind me. So that's why I'm walking back to right now is the the truck sitting over here. The man just got his truck washed and he's. He's checking it out, taking pictures of it and all kind of stuff. There's even a good looking flat top sitting right there. But, it's 9.15 at night. And, uh, we made it here to Effingham. We've been here since about 8.45 or something like that. I walked in the chrome shop, had to use the bathroom. Walked around for a little bit, daydreaming about stuff. <laughs> a uh, truck driver, it's like, uh, chrome is... Chrome is a truck driver's thing and lights and stuff like that. Uh, you can go in these uh, chrome shops and stuff like that and all you can do is daydream of, of what you can just imagine a truck looking like. Today wasn't a bad day. We got on up there the base we got unloaded. That was pretty cool. Main, the main thing about this video right here was, was cooking. I wanted to show y'all how I cook and stuff like that. Y'all that's been here for a long time and seen my videos, y'all know exactly how I do it. But there's a lot of new, new subscribers on here that asked about it, so I figured I'd show y'all be cooking. So that's the main thing about this video right here. Tomorrow, we got 10 and a half hours all the way down to Shreveport. We're just headed back to Shreveport. Most likely gonna spend the night in Shreveport and wake up Friday morning and pull some loads Friday. 
But like I said, that's all this video was mainly going to be about was the cooking thing and a little bit of driving and getting unloaded and stuff like that. That was just a little bit extra. I'm going to start editing this video for y'all. We're going to call it a night. So I do hope y'all enjoyed this video. If y'all did, y'all go ahead and give it a like, comment, subscribe, share, do all that fun stuff. And uh, I do appreciate y'all watching it. We'll see y'all on tomorrow's video. Y'all have a blessed one. Peace.